What's going on, Sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there? My name is Derek. My gamertag alias is 4Dom. How the hell are you guys doing today? Today is an amazing day for all of us Call of Duty fans and lovers out there. That's right, the release of the second DLC in the set, which is labeled Eclipse. Four brand new maps. A brand new zombie map for all you zombies lovers out there. I'm not a zombie lover, however, I can respect it. I show love to it. Uh, but these maps are phenomenal. Before we get into this, I'm going to tell you about the gameplay, what map this is, advantages of all the maps, how they look, and things to look out for for spawn traps and stuff like that. I want to go out of my way to thank you guys that are watching right now, uh, my community on Twitch. I'm coming up on 63,000 followers on Twitch. Just let that soak in. Like it just it baffles me to know that I have grown that much in a year and 5 months on Twitch and I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you all who support me every single day. I am very humble for it. So, all right, let's talk about this gameplay. This map is called Knockout and it's definitely probably my favorite map out of these four maps that are included in the DLC. Um I believe that this gameplay is a 64 and 8 Gameplay, I was just, this was like my third or fourth game on while I was live streaming this game and I was just destroying shit all day long. So it was a pretty, pretty great uh, to get to learn these maps and teach out some of the spawn traps. Like I said, this map is, is named Knockout. If you guys ever played World at War, if you're old enough to play it or if you just have gone old school with it, if you grew up with it, whatever, tell me this doesn't remind you of a World at War map and it was called Castle. And if you need to think back a little bit or Google up an image to see what it is, write down in the comment section and let me know if you think this reminds you of Castle. I thought this was... I wasn't keeping up on this DLC. I knew it was going to drop and I knew it was going to play it. I was going to play it and I had no idea what the World at War map was. And I was like, fuck, this is Castle. This is definitely Castle. And people are like, Castle wasn't the remake, it was Bonsai. And I'm like, mm, no, dude, this is it. But uh, it was pretty funny to argue with people and then to find out um, I'm a fucking moron. And uh, I was completely wrong. So, um, But this is a Shaolin temple. It's recreated on the top of a private island, which is really fucking cool. All these maps, if you get a chance to go in a private match, you need to just look around and see what's going on below you, off to the sides. Call of, Call of Duty has not been this intense with their map making in a very, very long time. And I'm very, very satisfied as buying a season season pass this year. I've been satisfied. The map pack, the first map pack was good. This one's even better. So if you haven't bought the first or second one, you guys really need to give it a try. This is Vondahar's last baby, and I really don't think he's going to um, want to fuck up a lot of these things. There's some good things in the future. I can just feel it. Feel it on the tip of my dick. But, uh, <laughs> uh, Verge, that is actually the remake from the World at War map, Bonsai. Um, it's, it's set in, like, a wasteland, kind of. It reminds me of something, like, you would see, like, like a, like a video game Mad Max style map. If you guys know what Mad Max is, it, it, that's what it reminds me of. And it's a very sweet, there's a lot of advantages to that map. Um, the caves, if you learn how to play those caves to your advantage, you're going to be a god. There's so many, there's only like, there's three openings in the caves and you could just wreck people. Here's one of the spawn traps right here where you can look down that area right there. They'll spawn off to the left or to the right coming out of that little temple. And you just rock back and forth. If you're playing Domination or Uplink, it's really easy to spawn trap on on this on this map right here. Um, the next map that I want to talk about is Spire. Really great fucking map. It's a futuristic space airport map. Uh, there's great sniper spots, great wall running that you can use to your advantage. That can you can get right to the middle of the map and just slay people right off the bat. Get your score streaks built up and then start working on uh, your spawn trap if if that's the way that you play. Most people who watch my videos usually do try to play that way. Um, Rift is a futuristic military complex. It's on a, va a volcano. It's really cool to to see. Actually, if you just look down at the middle of the map and just see the, all the lava moving and stuff, all the side things about these maps are just gorgeous. The first three maps that I uh, that I mentioned, besides Rift, 
These are insanely detailed, vibrant, bright maps. Rift is the darkest out of all of them. Um, there are great side runs to that map as well. Controlling the middle is is key. It's crucial. If you cannot control the middle part on Rift on any game mode that you do, whether it be you know Uplink, Domination, um, you know Kill Confirmed. It's you. You need to have control of that mid part of the map. If you got that, you're in there like gymwear, boys. Um, I am really, 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 really excited that this DLC was so great. I I played it. I streamed for eight and a half hours today, which is pretty long for me considering I usually only do two to three hours, um, once or twice a day. So, and I'm I cannot wait to wake up in the morning and start streaming this again as well. Um, so it's, it just proves that th this map pack is, is that great. I've been dropping a lot of raps on this. I believe on this game, I, I did double raps, three haters and race, or I'm sorry, three race. Um, what I'm looking for in the next DLC, if you guys would like my opinion is I, I want to see some more maps from world of war. I, I don't think we're ever going to get a world at war two since Vandahar is not going to be doing any more, any more CODs. And that makes me sad. So if you can bring some back some of the World at War maps, I would appreciate that as one of my favorite CODs. And I, I do miss miss that game to the, to the fullest. Um, you guys need to, down in the bottom, in the comment section, you guys need to tell me. I, I always like reading. You, you guys know that I always respond to the comments in my comment section, unlike most YouTubers or streamers. I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys, have you bought the map pack yet? What do you guys feel about this? How do you like the maps? Which one's your favorite maps? Have you found any weird glitches? I know that there's a glitch on this map um, that you can get up on, like one of the dragon's tail on the building. I mean, it, it's a stupid little glitch. It's easy to see, but um, it, it is a glitch. I mean, there's always glitches like that right when the first map packs drop out. So it is what it is. But uh, what are you guys looking for in the next map pack? I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of gameplay. Um, I'm going to be heading out for PAX East uh, this week. That's why this video is being uploaded early. I just wanted to go ahead and get it out and so you guys could see how sick this gameplay was. I just I just went off this game. So uh, if you guys are going to be showing up at PAX East, by all means, come by and say hi. I'll be doing a, uh, a signing for one of my sponsors there. And then I'll just be walking around and meeting people and stuff like that. I'll be vlogging all day long. Um, so I hope I get to see some fans out there. Um, if not, don't worry. On YouTube, you'll be able to see a vlog of PAX East. I have uh, multiple people that are going with me. Um, one's my best buddy who will be by my side the whole time, and a couple other people will be sitting back and just watching just to keep things under control. Uh, the end of the gameplay is coming up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying the map pack. Let me know what you think down below about everything about the map pack. If you have any questions for me, ask them below so I can answer them. And uh, you guys stay sexy as you always do, and I love you guys to death, and I'll see you on the next motherfucking video. Thanks so much Sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, lovely, sexy supporters out there. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my nightly stream on Twitch at Sniping for Dom. I love you guys. Have a lovely fucking day. Mwah.